She's the lady of it. Hello. <laughs> oh, go ahead, Paul. Okay. I'm not saying a thing. Yeah. These guys are the ones deep in the throes of conversation. Yeah, yeah. Right. there things to chat about, catch up on. Yeah, normally we like to start the show with what we were talking about in those 30 seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. not, not today. today. No. No. Oh, no. You guys don't want to talk about it today? Okay. It's a weird day to buck necessary. the trend, but I get it. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, including Do something wait. that had us all laughing on the show this morning. Yeah. Um, this is something that I think affects everybody who's ever worked in like a workplace environment. Mm -hmm. And not all workplaces necessarily qualify, but if you're in a workplace in which you send emails back and forth in any capacity, this show is going to be for you because we're decoding those passive aggressive catchphrases today. So this good. is something that was trending online earlier today. Ryan, yes. give us like the, the story in a nutshell. So. I don't know exactly how it happened on Twitter, but somebody was just asking, like, hey, can just you... organic. Yeah, stuff it's, happens on it's Twitter. typical Twitter stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, how can you, you know, what do those normal work email catchphrases mean? Like, the mm -hmm. things like, mm -hmm. I'm circling back to, or, you know, like, sorry I missed this, or, or like, my phone was on mute, or, or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, what do those things actually mean? Somebody asked for translations, yeah. and they've received more than 5,000 responses so far. <laughs> Uh, asking the producers in the booth, do we have a look at some of those funny ones right now, or can we bring some of them up? Because that's going to help us uh, all share a laugh this morning. Uh, otherwise, we need to talk about the ones that we see crop up all the time okay. uh, in our email conversations. So, you know, we get a lot from uh, PR people who are always pitching stuff, right? Yeah. And right. so my favorite is when they're like, just circling back. I'm yes. like, well, I mean, if I, if I didn't <laughs> right. reach if you were back interested. out to you, it means it's not happening. I'll only reach back out to let you know if this is a go or not. I like this one. Has the policy changed recently? That means I yeah. know the policy <laughs> and maybe you should try it. <laughs> I love that. Sorry, yeah. I was on mute. It means literally I have no interest. In this meeting what's well it? that that may be true but i also there are some times where i wish people would put their phones on mute in the middle of like a speakerphone call calls. yeah because there's like kids in the background or a dog barking and it's Flushing driving you nuts toilet. or the I worst thing say they're using the restroom. no no the worst i flush the toilet that's what you're supposed to do to it the worst thing is the fire alarm chirping when somebody has like a smoke detector that's oh batteries are low oh, and you yeah. hear the intermittent <laughs> yep Oh, dude. Uh, no I've done it before where you're like, um, can I get a large fries and a small? <laughs> like you're putting an order in while you're on the conference call. You don't really need to be on it. We'll table that for now. And uh, let's sidebar. Fun ways to get everything shut down. We'll just talk about this another time or never. Let's yeah, uh, some other good ones that I'm reading Thanks here. Thanks in is, advance. I love that yeah. one because it's like, uh, do this right now. Thanks in advance. How about as previously discussed? Mm -hmm. That means I didn't put it in writing last time because I thought you were an adult. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love that. That's actually pretty fair. Um, I love the, uh, we'll circle back on this, yeah. which yeah. to me doesn't necessarily mean just putting something on the back burner. I think it means no. I hope to never I discuss this, this yes, again, with you again. Yeah. Let's, put it out, let's, let's circle back on this. <laughs> I wanted to follow up means... You forgot, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you? Am I a joke to you? Completely ignoring me. <laughs> How about the thanks for your feedback? I'll be sure to keep it in mind. Yeah, that means uh, I'm going to handle this myself. Thank you're you. You're rude, thank you, thank and you. I'm just ignoring. I'm so guilty of this DMs all the Facebook. time. Yeah, there's you, like uh, I think there's tropes guilty. that you just fall into because you don't want to sound like a total, you know what, on email with there's your coworkers. There's a lot of inference, I think, of tone. Yeah, which is why I don't like. Emails, like you always have to think carefully before you respond sure. to an email, mm -hmm. especially when someone's poking you intentionally to, to annoy you about something that you really don't want to do. And I'm like, I'm trying to keep my tone light, but it's hard. <laughs> and I feel like the, the email just lends itself to that kind of snarky. Yeah. I think when you read into it, it's snarky. We get a lot of those here for like things that are quote unquote mandatory. You guys like. Sorry, guys. Like, you guys hate those emails. They're, they're Everything's like, mandatory it like here. starts off like, just let, just circling back in case you didn't see it. This is, this is uppercase, all caps, mandatory. And it's like, all right, well, there's a do we lot. We really of need it to be uppercase. Emails here more so than I think any other newsroom I've ever been in. Really? Really? Yeah. 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 Same here. Why is everybody more cc'd on every thing? So I've you don't have the excuse it, no. that you didn't see the email. I know, but it's like you have to divide it into point people. You can't have literally everybody from the top all the way to the bottom. It's the entire news department is CC. There are every so email. many emails here that my Outlook actually yeah. sends a lot of important ones to the exactly. to like the trash and the unread because they're Relevant just assuming ones. that they're like bots, right? Yeah. Because there's just way too many of them. It's too many, and so you miss. I've missed quite a few because I'm right. like, well, it's in 400 that went today, and there's one that I probably did need to read. Yeah. 
I agree. But the other 400 do not pertain to me or my department or even what I, no, it's, it's too many emails. I just appreciate when people are more like direct. The, the, yeah, the word like yeah. passive aggressive, like I hate, like just be aggressive. Just, like, <laughs> just like, be aggressive. Why are aggressive. you being passive about it? Yeah. Because <laughs> the passive aggressive emails, and these are the <laughs> phrases that we're talking about, is like you are also being aggressive. So why do you start it being passive? Just get right to the point. Like be that's polite. Because I'm Southern that. and I'm it's Catholic, so it's like passive aggressive is just ingrained. <laughs> like that's just like the only I way get, I know. I just get more <laughs> mad. Like yeah. I, I get more mad when like you attempt to be nice when you're really just kind of being an ass. Like. <laughs> Like, why? Like, what's yeah. the point? You know what I hate, too, though? And we're talking about inference and, like, again, because that really is what it is. It's tone. It's not necessarily the content of the emails uh, that we're discussing at all here. It's what you take out of it, the implications. Mm -hmm. Short emails mm. really scramble my eggs because I don't know what you mean. Like, when our boss has, our direct boss has a very, uh, let's say he has a habit of just sending, like, two or three word emails. Um, that, to me generally says, like, I don't want to talk about this, especially via email. Like, yeah. he's actually pretty good about never putting stuff in writing via email, which I, I think for any boss is good so you don't have a paper smart. trail. and yeah. you, could, you could have plausible deniability about any given topic. But, like, a quick, <laughs> like, two- or three-sentence email always makes me go, like, oh, okay, I no. guess we're moving on. But I guess the message is, is correctly conveyed because I don't want to yeah. continue the conversation anymore, and clearly neither does he. Yeah, <laughs> I've had the bosses that do that. It's like a, one or two sentences max, yeah. and it's like, okay, it's just a command. Just yeah. do it. Yeah. I don't want to hear any explanation or any of the, nothing. Just, that just means just do it. Get it done. That's do it. it. Leave it. Let's uh, let's talk about our favorite uh, short emails, and it's the two sentence goodbye email. You guys get those, and it's always like this this form. It is so and so is no longer an employee. Yes, we wish him or her well luck in, the future. in his or her future endeavors, and that is that well, is the two sentence. And you know that you're special plate. when you don't get one of those emails, right? Paul. <laughs> Mine was a pretty long email, it which is nice. I would have taken the two sentences. I was email. like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, part of the problem was that they weren't kicking me out the door immediately. They're making me work a little while, so, you know. That, that you, yeah, I guess you can't get one of those and then have to show up and see you every right, day. Right. Like, no. We wish him luck in his future endeavors also the next six weeks here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> those emails are so you don't let them in behind you when you're walking through security. At first, yeah. though, in my head, I thought, did Paul write this? And then George just sent it out. <laughs> That's what I thought initially. He's like, hey, Paul, can you write, <laughs> up, can you write something up about <laughs> yourself? Put something together you, you guys way. are laughing, um, but real talk. Can we keep it real on the after show? You did. I did. Ah, um, I knew it! So I here's the it. thing, though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So our boss asks, like, could you summarize your accomplishments and the things that you've done in your time here and send me a list? Mm -hmm. So I sent it to him. And the whole time, he waited like a week before sending the email. And the whole time, I'm like, I hope that he paraphrases and doesn't take, like, my direct copy. Because I write in a very recognizable way. My writing is scattered throughout enough shows that I think people know when it's my writing. Yeah. Uh, at least the people internally here. It's very wordy. I will say this <laughs> about our boss. He did not take any lines verbatim. He, he basically took now the Sparks notes sense. of my career at 12 News and then rewrote it in his own words. Okay. So those were not my direct words, right. although I did provide <laughs> the skeleton. He, he didn't want to miss anything that was important <laughs> right. to yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Thank it. you. That's the right way to spin it. it. Oh, my gosh. I'm, uh, that happened when, since we're, we're being direct, that, that happened when I got hired here, actually. Really? He asked, like, well, can you... And I get that because he wasn't around for the sure. previous parts mm. of my career. You know, what was... Can you tell me some stuff about yourself so that way I can let everybody That's a good boss. Know. Yeah. yeah, that's I'm a okay good boss. That. Just making sure I'm that totally everyone's okay on the with up and that up. because I mean then you might if, if like you forgot something that you thought was really important to you like sure. if you did yeah. a story the Olympics, here for that example. you really yeah. loved yeah. Uh, and he like you know he got a lot, he manages a lot of people right. so if he if he accidentally forgot something that wouldn't really be on him right um, but you might feel slighted and he probably wouldn't want that so yeah. It's not like I'm writing my own obit or anything. Yeah. Although there are people Although that I do that. Although I think I do that, too. Yeah. I can see you doing that. Do you have that. it written somewhere? You would write it in advance, and then you would have it saved somewhere. You have your mom case. save it. I have to do an extra <laughs> point tomorrow on my last morning show, and I still haven't finished that yet. I just have some ideas written down on my notepad. Wait, how long is that one going oh, to be? They're only giving me a minute and a half. Oh, oh So man. it's going to be, it's gonna be gonna tight. Do I don't yeah, know. Is that oh. one of those How's times where they happen? give you a wrap, though, and you're like, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One last Another time. news. <laughs> you don't own me. There's been a few yeah. times when you would wrap up the Cardinals, you know, yeah. recap, and I'm like, wow, how long? Like, yeah, are we yeah. doing this? It was like super long. They tried to keep me at two minutes for those Cardinals things. So oh every gosh. time they were 215 or 220, yeah, I'd hear about it the next day. 
But the thing is, the key is you have an ability to talk without ever taking a breath. Mm -hmm. Therefore, nobody can ever stop you. That's a sports guy in us. Ryan's the same way. You can ad lib free associate for forever. (laughs) Have you not watched him do his touchscreen stuff? Yes, he is like. You shall find out. Now, just letting everything out about Paul. You take a breath. Sorry. Yeah. We can have a roast. Is that what we're doing for the after show tomorrow? Just the oh, roast? Yes. Yeah, the roast. All right, so I'm fun. in on that. that yes, fun. watch and learn. As long as I can get in on it. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the plenty of things I want to fun of myself for. Do it. All right, let's take a break and have a laugh at someone else's expense in our ICY <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is a real good one, though. If you haven't seen this video yet, I don't know what you were waiting for. It's fantastic. It. Check this out. <laughs> Here it comes. Yep. Wait right for about it. now. Are you ready? Any second. Right yeah. about oh. now. There it is. There's a... <laughs> Look at that Camcox <laughs> smile. Oh. Oh, oh, down he goes. Larry, don't hurt him. That's a good form Larry, tackle. Don't. Well, Larry's safe. Get Larry, your own I like the extra Look wrestling. Look at this part, though, right here. Slam. Get, get up. Oh, no, I can't get up. No, he's going to the hill. <laughs> Uh, we don't have time to show you how long it took him to get back to his feet. Oh, my feet. gosh. It's easy to go down, but really hard. All right, that's Bruce Cooper, like, our uh, sports <laughs> director here at 12 News, who's retiring this yeah. July right after the Olympics. Uh, him and Larry have had a, an outstanding relationship yeah. in their time here. I mean, Coop's been here for the entirety of Larry's 17-year career. Yeah. Uh, a couple of old-timers there. Coop promised at the end of that video he was going to tackle Larry when he retires, too. But I think it's going to be tough for Coop to sneak that. up on him. Yeah. Well, my first well, thought when I saw that was like, oh, my gosh, he's going to break a bone. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Knee issue. Coops. I know you have to be careful. Yeah. So has anybody heard from Coop today? No, no he's still down no. there. He's actually, in yeah. action. <laughs> we'll see if Trisha Hendricks ran into him out there on the green. Like, hey. all displayed out. Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> I'm yes, hanging out down here. He got to do on his face. Girlfriend. 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 <laughs> let me tell you, girlfriend. I no, 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 girlfriend. Let me tell. Yeah. So before I started working here, he would see me at the D-backs games, and he always called me the Go Daddy girl, Danica <laughs> Patrick or whoever was doing it before, yeah. and he would be like, Go Daddy. Girl. Girl, come here! And I'm like, I got the daddy girl. <laughs> he's, oh, so he's one of those he's people legend. that you meet that you feel like you've known him your whole life. Like, yeah. he's just got that personality. There's so awesome. There's no facade to Coop. No, it no. is. He is exactly the same nice person man. as he is on top. People yeah. ask me that all the time yeah. about Coop. Like. Is that like what he, what he's like? You know, because he has such a unique personality right. on TV, and it is. It is 100%. exactly yeah. Yeah. what he is like. This is a sweetheart. I do. I feel like I've known him forever. I've literally only yeah. known him for six. But that's that's a <laughs> testament to to Coop's personality yeah. because he. I, I don't know if he's trying. I get the feeling he's not Probably trying not. to do That's that. Why, yeah. But but it's just who he is. That he is so nice to everybody. I love you know, him. some people yeah. like use like. There's a lot. I'd say more people than not. Want, don't give people the benefit of the doubt right away. Sure. You know, like, it takes, time like it takes a while for them to accept you as someone they want to be nice to and, sure. and spend time on. That is not Coop. Like, Coop will see you for the first yeah. time and have a long conversation and will be, nice. like, your best friend. Yeah. Yeah. Emphasis on the long conversation part. Yeah. If you get Coop on the phone, good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah. So when I was about to get hired here, um, I was, you know, freelancing for a year. And then he called me. It was so funny. I was like, who's calling you? So, and I don't know where he got my number from. But he's like, and as soon as, girlfriend. I said, like, Coop, what are you doing? He's like, I hear that you might get hired here. I was like, what? How did you hear that? Any excuse to do a bunch of Coop impressions. Yeah, so, and he had me on the phone and goes, I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you. Aww. I was like, oh, my gosh, that's to get a thing. call. Like, he doesn't Coop. have to do that. Yeah, no. that's why I was that's like, awesome. oh, my gosh, I love him. Yeah, yeah. that's Coop for you. Yeah. Sweetheart. Um, I feel like a lot of us have, like, a, 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 a an exterior that, like, sort of prevents you from, um, it, you, we call it alligator skin in the business, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you can't take anything too personally because we get a lot of negative feedback i haven't looked at the comments in a second i'm sure there's we're doing pretty good today. things right oh, now okay. um so you just sort of have this exterior coop, coop when i said facade that's what he lacks he doesn't have that alligator skin and he doesn't need it because he's as genuine as they come but but also like it makes it hard to make fun of him because i feel like especially guys in this business but women too we love to razz each other especially like, sports yeah, and that's yeah, yeah like Thank chemistry you, yeah. within your coworkers is being able to to laugh at one another and laugh at oneself I feel bad when I pick on Coop because he doesn't respond in the same way. Coop doesn't make fun of people. No. Coop does not razz people. He might argue about sports with you, but like that's as far as like any contentious interaction with Coop will ever go. He's laughing the whole time. Yes, he's having a blast <laughs> getting at your goat. Yeah. You know, by the way, uh, I hope we're having him on the show tomorrow. I don't know what any of the plans are for the, the oh, Paul yeah. Gerke farewell Woo! show. But you Bruce Cooper and I, do you, do you remember? Well, no, he because he needs to. We shook hands on this. Oh, do you remember when we did I the food bank this. thing? Yes. Where was that at? 
Uh, at the which, food bank. Well, there was more than one food bank we did stuff for, but anyway. Um, no, but it was the actual food bank. Yeah, we went to the food bank to load stuff up <laughs> around sort. Thanksgiving time. Yes. Uh, no, it was before that. It was in the summer because it was before the Cardinal season started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, Coop, yeah, yeah. And I, Coop <laughs> was We're making bets at that time. He's such an optimistic Cardinals fan. Oh, my he is goodness. He's such a slappy. Yeah. He's drinking the Kool-Aid so much that he was betting people $50 a pop that the Cardinals would not only make the playoffs this year, but would win a playoff game. He tried to bet me money that they'd make the Super Bowl, and I said, Coop, I can't. I know. I can't, I can't in good conscience Bless accept that bet. But we did shake hands that they'd make the playoffs for 50 bucks. But here was the thing. If the Cardinals did make the playoffs, I had to go to Sports Tonight on a Sunday and give Coop the money in person. Mm. But the agreement was, if the Cardinals didn't make the playoffs, he would give me the money on today in AZ. <gasps> and here we are, my last show tomorrow. You better and remind he's him. still not showing Coop. up. You better remind him. Coop. Somebody better wake him up. I want it in singles. Is he still on the green? <laughs> <What? laughs> anything? Roll him over. Roll him to the ATM. Bring him in a wheelbarrow. Oh. Break him and wake he, him up. He's probably going to have to come out of retirement to pay for all these bets <laughs> but that right. he was making oh, earlier yeah. in the season. That's the other thing about I didn't. Coop, he though. wanted to take he me believes. on the bet, too, and I, yes, I, I just didn't. But he was doing that to everybody. I know. And it was a 10-win bet. It was a 10-win minimum bet. That's what bet. you needed to get into the playoffs. It makes sense. Um, that's the thing about Coop, though, is he's such a sweetheart that him. you don't want to go break his thumbs and get your money. Right. He, he can renege on any bet because nobody is going to go rough him up. Larry might. Yeah. Larry. Look at the barrel roll he does on his belly. I know. Yeah. It's a belly roll. He back oh. Oh. <laughs> He got him three times. Oh, my gosh. Oh, get up, oh, Coop. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez, no. <laughs> he went right down the hill. That part, I was like, Bless oh, I feel hard. so bad for him. I do. It is wrong. very hard yeah. to get up these days. Oh. <laughs> Especially on that hill. Uh, he didn't. He wasn't wearing line. spikes. Yeah. Mm. He's got his dress shoes on. I'm glad that all worked out because that could have gone horrible. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Can you imagine yeah, if Larry he hurt him? Broke a bone? Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. We'd be doing that story this morning. Oh, jeez. Our big story this morning. Sarah McLaughlin in yeah. the background. <laughs> a fundraiser for Coop's knees. Coop in a wheelchair on 16 just waiting. Oh, this is hard. Oh, fun. Her friend, let me tell you. Girlfriend. Wait, it snuck up behind me. Oh, my gosh. Coop, we love you. We I love know. you so much. All right, Ness, give us some fresh squeeze juice before yeah. we say goodbye. Goodbye. All right, so a Kansas man searching for his keys in his couch instead finds a silent but deadly intruder. Was it Where's gas? Our, our juice there? there oh, it is. no. A <gasps> six foot boa constrictor was curled and comfy in the oh, couch cushions my inside of his house. No way. The baffling part the man says he doesn't even own a snake. <laughs> he well, does now. <laughs> Terrified, he called 911. Rescue crews removed the creature, which is now in a local pet store. No one can tell him who owns the boa constrictor or how long that it was in his couch. You know what you do? Oh my gosh. You that burn the couch. Horror oh, burn the couch. Made out of this. Get rid of the couch. No. Yeah. You can't yeah. keep that couch. Send it can out you to imagine? a college campus and burn Babies yeah. in the couch. You don't know what's next. It's like burn. relaxing yeah. on the couch one evening, watching Moving. movies and cuddling with your sudden, boa constrictor. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, honey, you happy to see me? <laughs> Thank goodness. Wow. Wow. Is that a six foot boa constrictor or uh, are we Netflix and chilling? Yeah. Oh, He's God. like, it's really a snake. <laughs> Thank oh, God it was a boa gosh. and not oh, like God. a like a, a, a venomous snake or something. You know, some All people snakes are bad snakes. <laughs> yeah, I would if you ask me. Snakes should be eaten and worn, that's it. Wow. Period, end of story. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I'm gonna you, say it. You eat snakes? I'm from Texas. Mm. We eat everything that moves. <laughs> <laughs> Ketchup on it. It's fine. Fair enough. <laughs> Killer oh boots, goodness. man. There are some people who have had constrictors as pets before. Um, who have noticed that the, the snake grows fond of them over time and starts to wrap up around them and constrict them gently. And um, it it's turns out, you. yeah, it's actually trying to kill it and eat you. you. Yeah. yeah, it's not a friendly thing. So mm -hmm. like cuddling with the boa know. constrictor in the couch. Know. They're animals. Right. Yeah. yeah, right. They're just following their instinct. They're mm -hmm. sizing you up. Ugh, for the no big way. swallow. I'm going to go rip the couch cushions off my couch when I Yeah, before just, you lay down. I know, I'm a little grossed out right now, actually. <laughs> if there was a fake snake in this couch, that would be oh such an God. awesome prank by the producers. <laughs> Mm -mm, didn't Don't happen. look at the floor like that. No. We're all looking you know what you're going to find when you rip open my couch cushions? Cheerios. Lots mm. of them. And Taco Bell And I don't cheese. have a kid. Oh, Taco like Bell you're cheese. like a baby. Cheese. With yes. all the Cheerios. Yeah. That's like my couch has a lot of Cheerios. What was in this guy's couch that drew the snake to Mice, the couch? probably. Yeah. That is oh. disgusting. Yeah, I want to see what his house looked like. Like, why no, did that I do you, in? though? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, no. All right, guys. Don't get tackled by Larry Fitzgerald today. Be careful. Don't send any passive-aggressive office emails either.
<laughs> Check your couch cushions. One more after show for yours truly tomorrow. Whoa. Wow. The roast of Paul Gerke. I'm That's in. That's right. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Give me your best shot, baby. So do you still have that speaker that you used to use in your car? The ah. speaker. Hey, those things work. <laughs>